ancient Egypt sample presentation here, and we want to add custom animations to the text and uh, some of the uh, shapes that are on the screens. We've already gone through and done a bunch of other customizations, so now we'll show you how to do that. For our main title slide, we're not gonna add any customizations. Again, this is typically what's on the screen as we begin our presentation. But on slide number two, we'd like it when it fades over to this slide for this text to not already be there, but to appear afterwards. So at the top of your screen, you can click animate. If you're using um, a Chromebook, I may not have enough room to show all these options up here. So you may have a set of three dots that are side by side. And if you tap on that, one of the options it should give you is animate. Then you can go over here and choose from your options. Uh, we are going to choose, um, instead of fade in, we're gonna choose zoom in, a little bit more dramatic appearance. Um, and instead of on click, we want it to happen automatically when we go to the slide. So we're gonna choose after previous, which means it will do this animation after that slide is loaded on the screen. And then our general rule of thumb is to set the animations and transitions for 0.7 seconds. And so we can click play for a little preview. When it transitions over, that will zoom on automatically. Perfect, that looks great. Now for this slides, because we're sliding across as if it was a timeline, we're not gonna animate this text. We're gonna leave it on the slide. We don't want it to be too busy or distracting. But when we get over to this Nile River slide, we do wanna go ahead and animate this text. We want people to see the river first and then to have this text come on. So we'll click this box and either click animate or if it's open over here, click add animation. And we are gonna leave this one at fade in, but instead of on click, we're gonna change it again to after previous. So it automatically happens. The duration, we're gonna set that to 0.7 seconds. That gets a little bit tedious. Uh, for Nile and River, we want Nile to come on first, so we're going to click Add Animation there. We will uh, change this one to make it a little more dramatic like we did before and choose Zoom In and set it for 0.7 seconds. It's important not to make your presentation really distracting, and so if you add an animation and it's a similar style to what you've had before, it ties it all together. We're going to choose this one uh, before. That one was set for On Click. We want it to be after previous, so it'll happen after this text box animates, and we want river to animate automatically after Nile, so we'll choose after previous. We'll set that for 0.7 seconds. Now we can play to get a preview what that'll look like. Text will come on. All right, that looks good. Now for this slide, oh, we're gonna click stop, and then go over to slide seven. This is the last one we're gonna animate, but we're gonna show you how to not only to bring things on, but to take them off for a little bit more complex build if you wanna try something uh, a little bit more uh, advanced. And so we're gonna start with this line right here that kind of points out to everybody, oh, careful how you select. This line shows the whole Giza pyramid complex. And so we're gonna click add animation Fade in is fine, and we're gonna leave this to be on click so that when we are presenting and ready to draw attention to it, then we can advance and make the animation happen. We are gonna set it to 0.7 seconds. We also want that phrase, Giza Pyramid Complex, to come up right after that line does. So we're gonna add animation, leave that to fade in, set it to after previous, 0.7 seconds. Now that's ready to go. The third thing we want to do is we want to make both of these go away because we're going to go from focusing on all of this to just this one pyramid. And so we are going to look at this line we have here. And we're going to add another animation, but this time instead of fade in, it's going to be fade out. It's set for on click. We don't want it to happen automatically. We're going to set it for 0.7 seconds, and then we're going to do the same thing with that text box. Click on it, add animation, choose fade out. And this one we are actually gonna choose with previous so that it goes away at the same time as the line. And we'll set that again for 0.7 seconds so it takes the same amount of time for it to disappear. While that's happening, we want to bring in this triangle to draw attention to this one particular pyramid, the largest of the three pyramids. And so we're gonna click Add Animation for a shape, the same way you do for text. Uh, we're gonna set it to Fade In, and we're gonna change it instead of On Click to With Previous. So when these two go away, 
that one will come on. And again, we'll set that for 0.7 seconds. And then last of all, we'll bring the title on there. So we'll tap on that text box, click Add Animation, Fade In. We'll put it to After Previous so we can draw attention to the pyramid and then show the name of it. Set it to 0.7 seconds. And then we'll hit play to see if we did everything correctly. When you're actually given this presentation, you would tap. That brings the line and the text on. We're ready to be done talking about the complex, talking about one specific pyramid. We would tap again. Those go away, the triangle comes up, and there's a title. Now, should you happen to do something in the wrong order, you can always go over here and grab one of these handles and bring it up or down to adjust the order of when your animations happen. And that's how we add custom animations to text and to shapes on our Google Slides presentation.